Good afternoon, my name is Nick. I'm going to be showing you the Boss DD20 Gigadelite. Uh, this is an incredibly powerful piece of gear. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video, I used to work for a certain major musical instrument retailer for two years and I realized that a lot of guys were starting to come in to buy their third and their fourth Line 6 DL4 pedal because they break all the time. Um, and I used to have a Line 6 DL4 as well and one thing I didn't care about on that pedal was how uh, you can't set tap tempo until you turn the pedal on. So uh, I started messing around with the DD20 and you know that's that was the first thing that I noticed. Um, I went ahead and bought it and it's incredible. Um, it's it's a very uh, it's a very powerful piece of gear. Like I said, uh, I think a reason why a lot of people don't buy them though is because it looks complicated. You've got a lot of uh, switches and knobs and a lot of stuff going on here. So uh, this video um, is going to be uh, a demo of how to use this pedal. Uh, I won't be playing a whole lot, um, but it's more about um, just showing you how it actually works and how you can manipulate it. Um, I will be doing another video showing the actual modes and how they work and how they sound. Let's get started. The Giga Delay has all the basic functions of any regular delay pedal. You've got your effect level, your feedback knob, your delay time knob. This is very, very, very important. It's actually got a button on it and it's got a little bit of a click to it, but that's used for other things. But otherwise, use it for that. Uh, your, this is a tone knob. Um, this is more bass on this end, you get more treble on this end. We'll leave that right in the middle. Uh, just like with any boss pedal, you get the, uh, the mode, um, whatever you set it for. On and off pedal, pretty basic. And that is the memory and tap pedal. Um, this is where you can actually set, uh, you can set your tap tempo on the floor, um, or you can set your memory. This is set for memory right now, we have that lit up. So right now that's going through the modes. Or if we hold this down, that's on tap mode. And now I can set tap tempo. Now I like to set this in memory mode, and I have a separate tap tempo at the bottom. One of my favorite features of the Giga Delay, and part of the reason why I think people think it looks complicated uh, when they first see it, is the digital dis digital display across the top. Um, that's your delay time. Uh, that is a control pedal type that is set for the tap tempo. That's the external pedal that I have. Uh, plus 4 dB, that's something different. I'll get to that later. Uh, we get to see uh, milliseconds versus beats per minute. And that right there is uh, the tempo type. Um, if you're familiar with the Line 6 DL4, you have a mode where it's, uh, you get to change um, how, the, uh, how the rhythmic pattern works. Uh, you know, quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets, whatever. But with the DD20 here, you get to use the uh, different rhythm modes for any of the actual modes on the pedal. So that's really great. Uh, all you have to do is just switch them out right here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but at least you can see what, how that works. Uh, tap tempo right here. All you have to do is just press it, change your tempo. Okay. And uh, if you want to change from milliseconds to beats per minute, all you have to do is hold down the tap button. Beats per minute and milliseconds are on an inverse relationship, so sometimes, uh, you know, if you want to set a, uh, like, kind of a slapback echo kind of thing, I think I've got that saved right here. That's on milliseconds. <laughs> Uh, but I usually use uh, beats per minute for everything else. Uh, you can turn the backlight on and off by pressing down both buttons. The Giga Delay has four memory modes plus the manual mode. Now the manual is whatever uh, whatever you've got say, you know set in here. Um, so it's really more like a fifth setting uh, plus. One, two, three, four modes. Uh, the Line 6 DL4 has three modes. That fourth button is the tap tempo switch. Uh, so let's try something here. We're in uh, mode three. Okay, I'm going to shorten the delay time by. Okay, now I want to overwrite that, so all I have to do is press right. Now this starts to light up here, 
and I can actually select where I want that to go and just press right and it's saved in there. Now the select button still just goes through your uh, memory modes here. Uh, this is also select for memory. Either or. The DD20 has a few additional parameters that you can reach by actually turning off the pedal and then holding down uh, one of the pedals and turning it back on. Um, now, everybody knows that boss pedals aren't true bypass. Personally, I'm not a nerd for uh, making sure everything's true bypass. I'm okay with boss. Boss is okay with me. So, uh, now, I mentioned earlier that there was a plus 4 dB. Uh, that is the output going out of the pedal. Uh, now, the factory setting is negative 20 dB, but you can also set it for plus 4. I like plus 4 dB. I like a little bit extra output going into my sonic maximizer and then going back into my amp. So, uh, now we can change that by disconnecting it, holding down the power button, plugging it back in. Now, it says out 3. Output 3 means uh, it's at plus 4 dB, and it is, uh, it is just a single... Um, now it's got stereo output on it, and so whatever's coming out, it's, it's the uh, wet signal coming out. Output four means um, the for the stereo, uh, one is going to be dry, one's going to be wet. Uh, output mode one is negative 20 dB. That's the factory setting, and everything's wet. And then output mode two is a wet dry on the stereo output. I keep it on three. Press right. You're done. Okay. Uh, now, I have a tap tempo switch here, and maybe I want to change the pedal type. Unplug it, hold the memory pedal down. Now that's on control 2, meaning that's the tap tempo switch. Now that's for an FS5U, meaning unlatching. The U means unlatching, which is a momentary switch. Uh, that's uh, tap tempo. Control 3 uh, switches the memory, so I can, I, I can use this to uh, change the memory if I want. Um, now control 1 uh, is to turn it on and off, but that is the FS5L. The L means latching, which means it, you know, it's turning something uh, on and off. Um, we'll change it back to 2, that's what I like. Okay. And another thing here. Now, you notice how these start to light up in order. We can have them light up individually if we want, so turn that back off. We're going to hold down these two buttons here. Turn it back on. Okay, now that's showing LED 2, meaning all, you know they're going to light up uh, in sequential order. Or LED 1 means they're going to light up one at a time. I'm going to change that back there. I like lights.